what you forget? <laughs> Brush. Ooh, let's see. What is that um, white thing you got hanging on your ear? I don't know, this is my ear hair. <laughs> Elton John. John Lennon. I think the Lint Chocolate Factory is here. But look at that view. And there we were, on a plane from Raleigh Durham to Zurich, Switzerland, with a connection through Toronto. Living the good life, trying to take advantage of the strong US dollar. The only problem? <laughs> Didn't happen, thanks to Air Canada. Let's try that again. Harley, where are you going? To sleep. Babe, where are you going? I'm going to Don't pizza. Say Let's try that one more time, this time through Newark. Thank you, United. What a journey. Finally arrived in Zurich the next morning, and the first item of business was to drop our luggage off at the hotel and set out to explore. Yeah, we're in the bus station. Well, we're in the shopping center. We gotta go to Station. Zurich is going to be our home base for the next week, partly because of the hotel deal. We also decided to use mass transit versus renting a car, given the great bus and rail system that exists throughout Switzerland and Europe. We're in the bus. We're in our first bus, and we're headed to the hotel. No hotel. Hopefully, hotel. they can keep our luggage so we can. Uh, what's the first item? Chocolate factory, Chocolate factory. I think. Oh, okay. And then we're going to change your clothes or something. Mm -hmm. right. And then we out of here. And there's a sign for a, for a hotel right there. That's so visitor over there. So visitor. As we were planning this trip, we decided to purchase the Swiss Travel Pass. That kind of gives us carte blanche access to the buses and trains and also some discounts on some of the tourist attractions. That's a station. We arrived at Zurich HB, which is the main or central station to get connections. HB is short for Hauptbahnhof. And from Zurich HB, we hopped the train to Kusberg, home of Lent Chocolate. Let's take a look at our map for a frame of reference. The blue icon is our home base there. Notice that Kusberg lies just southeast of the city of Zurich and is situated just west of, you guessed it, Lake Zurich. Check out the lake. All right, we were dog tired. We had been up for over 24 hours. Still a lot of walking and little did we know we were visiting Europe during a heat wave. We finally found that sign that was gonna give us direction to the chocolate factory, so we headed over. Where you been? Oh. He's loud like me. Turn around this way. finally here. Lynn, home of chocolate. Lint. As you enter, head over to the visitor's desk if you haven't purchased your tour tickets online already. There are no backpacks allowed in the tour, and you'll see why a little bit later on. Storage lockers are available down the hall and to the left. We're going up the white marble steps to the chocolate tour. I find most of these chocolate tours to be similar in nature, just like the Hershey's tour that exists in Pennsylvania. They do a great job of showing how they farm the cocoa pods and gather the beans, dry them, process them, and turn them into delicious chocolate yummies. All right, time for an interesting chocolate fun fact. Did you know that West Africa is the largest producer of cocoa in the world? That's right, Ghana and the Ivory Coast produce over 60% of the world's cocoa beans, with Ecuador coming in at second with only 7%. Free chocolate hanging on the tree. <laughs> you scammed the chocolate? No, it's a cocoa. This particular tour is a self-guided tour and you may have noticed a device that everyone is holding up to their ear. You want to pick one of these up before you enter the tour. It allows you to scan a tag at each exhibit and get a brief audio explanation. You know, I've certainly come to appreciate chocolate more so now after taking a few of these chocolate tours. Just look at the massive amount of manual labor it takes to plant and harvest cocoa beans. It's a science, but it's also kind of an art too because the harvester has to only take the ripe pods. 
Take a look at the video that's playing on the screen there as these pods are being harvested. Some are lower on the trunk, others are higher in the tree, which requires a special blade to slice them off. In this particular exhibit, you can see the tools that are used to turn the cocoa beans into cocoa powder. G-Money gives it a whirl. It's always interesting to hear about the origins and history of these chocolate factories. Rodolf Lint, Henri Nestlé, and Theodore Tobler, to name a few. Competition, breeding innovation. And as amazing as the history and the origins of these chocolate factories and chocolates that are produced are, we all know what the star of this show is, and that's the tasting section. What is this? Peanut butter? Yogi milk chocolate? Caramel chocolate? How are they doing? Pull it out. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> let, the, let the kids show you how to do it. I think it's uh, caramel. Milk chocolate? Mm. Oh, I told you. Milk chocolate. Babe, get another one so I can camera you. Oh yeah. Very sweet. Mm. White chocolate. White chocolate. This is all this is all cocoa fat. Mm. Good. Mm. Mm. Oh, sweet. That is super sweet. Super sweet. Chocolate. It's Dong Po chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best. A little bit of cherries in it. Mm. And strawberry. Yeah. I want to make it like, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> <on the> nose. <laughs> yeah, I don't hope it. <laughs> Look, there's strawberries. Oh. <laughs> I missed it. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What's this here? Okay. Wait, different flavor? Different flavor? Sweet and salty sea salt. Who else can you do? Alright, you got it here, okay? Maybe not. Yeah. Nah, take a video of me getting one. Okay. Oh! Mmm! It's really good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. I think they're still. They're, okay. both, they're about the same. Uh, hold on, honey. Yeah. What's the flavor? Fruity orange. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. I want another bottle. Yeah, I want another bottle. Oh, yeah, you missed it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in there. Very orangey. Orangey, orangey. That's pretty good. Everything I like. It's like a Valentine's uh, chocolate. Same one. Uh, we're coming up on the Lindor section. You've probably seen these in your local grocer. 
Lindor chocolates are basically chocolate truffles. They have a thin outer shell and a filling inside. The word Lindor is a combination of lint and ore. Ore means gold in French, so Lindors melt like gold. I also coined the phrase chocolate pocket on this trip because if you put one of these Lindors in your pocket, it will melt. It is not uncommon to see somebody at the bus or train station with a dark circle in their pants pocket. That's strawberries and cream. This view right here helps you appreciate why there's no backpacks allowed. You can pack a lot of chocolate in a backpack in this section. <laughs> this basically shows you what it does. It takes chocolate in and it makes a little uh, filling. Like a, like a Reese's almost. And I can't think of a better way to wrap this tour up than with some Swiss chocolate ice cream. Cha cha for now. Is that a waffle the, classic? From the, chocolate? No, chocolate not even. Waffle classic? From the Lind. Chocolate. Oh, yes.